Not many buildings take over a hundred years to be completed. But in the confines of one of Europe's trendiest cities is a building like no other. Of course, we are talking about the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia, designed by Antoni Gaudi. Construction on La Sagrada Familia began in 1882 and is expected to be completed in 2026, marking the 100th anniversary of Gaudi's death. Despite the many challenges and setbacks faced during its construction, the La Sagrada Familia has become an enduring symbol of Barcelona. One of the most striking features of La Sagrada Familia is its intricate and organic design. Unlike traditional Gothic or Renaissance cathedrals, which are characterized by sharp angles and rigid symmetry, the La Sagrada Familia has a flowing, naturalistic appearance. The La Sagrada Familia is also distinguished by its towering spires, which reach up to 564 feet, or 172 meters in height. These 18 spires are a crucial element of Gaudi's design and are intended to symbolize the four evangelists, the 12 apostles. One will represent the Virgin Mary, and the tallest tower in the middle will represent Jesus Christ. Gaudi also made extensive use of reinforced concrete in the construction of La Sagrada Familia. This allowed him to create complex, organic forms that would have been impossible to achieve using traditional building materials. The use of reinforced concrete also made the building more durable and resistant to natural disasters, such as earthquakes. Gaudi passed away on June 10, 1926, and along with him went his genius. His apprentices took over the building of the La Sagrada Familia. However, this was problematic, as Gaudi never left a finished plan for the structure. But perhaps technology could come to the rescue. In 1979, Mark Burry, a 22-year-old graduate from New Zealand who became an intern after visiting La Sagrada Familia, had a brainwave to adopt the use of computer technology to aid in the design process. Burry and his partner, Jane Burry, were able to develop a mathematical system that not only exactly matched the forms that Gaudi had already built, but could also predict, using the same complex geometric language, how Gaudi would likely have developed other parts of the church. Fortunately for Burry and the rest of the team, computers were just getting started with other new technologies at the time, ones that could build things in the real physical world, namely robotics. The Sagrada Familia team purchased the first very primitive CNC machine from Van Voorden, a Dutch company, in July 1988. The first piece of robotically carved stone for the building was installed in 1990. Over the last two decades, the construction team has added even more digital tools to their arsenal, such as 3D printers that produce scale models that allow them to better study designs and test how to construct them, and LiDAR laser scanning technologies that allow builders and architects to digitally scan parts of the building that have already been built. There have been multiple reasons as to why La Sagrada Familia has taken so many years to complete. One of those is because of the turbulent history not long after the building's beginnings. This is, of course, the Spanish Civil War. And another is that it relies on ticket sales and private donations to continue building. Despite its many challenges, the La Sagrada Familia remains one of the most beautiful and inspiring buildings in the world. Its unique design and innovative construction techniques have made it an enduring symbol of Barcelona and a testament to Gaudi's vision and talent. When it is finally completed, the La Sagrada Familia will stand as a testament to the human capacity for creativity.